All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back for game number five. It is going to be the last match today. We've had five, or sorry, three best of fives, and every single one of them has gone to game number five. You've got no complaints from me in that regard, and it's been really fun casting all of them. I really think my favorite was TLO versus Beastie at the start of the day. This hasn't been too bad, but it's also been very heavily back and forth. It's not just that it's back and forth, but it's like pretty like one-sidedly back and forth. When, when they're winning, they're winning hard. They're going big. They're going home. We got about 2,700 people tuning in right now. We got about $312 raised for the prize pool of this show match. Over $1,000 raised today, period, across all three. And that's fan-freaking-tastic. I want to thank the folks at Match Arena for helping make this possible. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. And uh, let's just hop into these last intros. Spawning in the bottom left corner of the map is going to be the pink Terran player, Beastie Cutie. And in the top right, Flipside Tactics, Purple Protoss Puck. So they weren't fighting. I really want to stress that. So there was no like, oh my god, you're d d stupid Protoss, blah, blah, blah. Like, they were just having some uh, call it aggressive balance discussion between games. I don't think Puck likes losing either, and I don't think BC. They're both very competitive players, which is why, by the way, I love inviting them back to play. Like, it, it's one thing that, okay, Puck's good, Beastie's good, sure. But it's the fact that they're competitive beyond that that makes it really attractive to me as an organizer to want to invite them back. In fact, there was someone who had posted on the Team Liquid thread saying, like, oh, it's the same players over and over again. And the thing is, I don't actually have a problem with that because the same players are good, and that's why they come back over and over again. If it was a bunch of really crappy play and we kept inviting the same people, uh, okay, that's a valid complaint. But, um... Again, the competitive nature keeps pushing these guys to improve, and that's what I like to see. Puck's going to proxy once again. It worked out well for him before. He's looking for round two. He's doing it in the most unconventional spot. Beastie's also scouting the most unconventional spots. I don't think he's going to see this rebel coming. And to be honest, a lot of Terran players, myself included in this, they always watch these rocks. They don't ever watch these rocks. Um, Beastie's going to knock down the back rocks over here as well, but if Puck gets two Immortals out before being scouted... Oh, Beastie's probably dead. I was gonna say it straight up. And there's the Moonlight Madness spam. So, rip chat. Latias for Ember says, I can't wait for this map to be removed from the pool. Me as well. <laughs> I made a mistake making that intro. I made a huge mistake making that intro, and I can't take it back. <laughs> I don't think it's as bad as Catalina. I don't think anything's ever gonna be as bad as Catalina, but uh, I have made a huge mistake. Pretty much what I did with the Moonlight Madness intro. Anyway, sorry, uh, Puck's gonna be getting a couple of the gateways at home. He's not gonna stick them all on the front lines. But the Immortals are taking down the rocks. Beastie goes for a scan, and the thing I think I would have liked to him, for him to have scanned was actually back here. He needs to know that Puck has no natural base. Seeing a couple of gateways in the main, this doesn't tell him anything. This is nothing revealing at all. Puck has a natural, he could have tech over here as well. Now, Beastie's probably going to assume this is an all-in of some variety. We got a tank coming out. He's getting ready to shell away at the Stalkers. He can always shuffle around with the medevac. And he might even go for his own drop. But I think the thing is, at the end of the day, in a base trade scenario, I think Solace has got a little more damage to him. Obviously, he can't pick up buildings and float them to the corner of the map. But, uh, yeah, I, I think he's going to be coming in with a little bit harder of a punch. Now, I, I actually wish the Mothership Corps was across the map with the offensive army so they could recall home. Unfortunately, what he's chosen to do is leave, this, leave the Mothership Corps here for photon overcharges. And without two pylons on the left side of his nexus, he's very exposed to drops, to attacks, to everything. Uh, coming over here, though, Beastie, did he scout that army? I don't know that Puck ever came close enough for that to be revealed. Tank's still at the front, so no, I don't think he knows what's up just yet. Oh, the Warp Prism. Oh, he's just going to straight up Warp Prism drop to the main, but Puck. Wait. What's happening here? What is what is this weird roundabout way of doing this? I guess it is a giant elevator. Uh, bring the Immortals. Bring the Immortals. Immortal Hype. The Depths are going to get a lot of light damage in here, which is nice. But once again, they have a lot less health, so they can't take those hits the same way they used to. Having the Immortals not focusing on that tank at all is a big problem. In fact, put the Immortals on the front line. Their barrier ability will soak 200 damage. And we have no problem dealing with those Marines. But you know what? I'm complaining. The Puck still killed a lot of SCBs. 16 workers remain after defending this attack with that all in. 
Uh, that, well, I guess the defensive all in. I don't know how you want to phrase that. One stalker comes in to kill the Viking that's chasing around the warp prism. The warp prism is the linchpin to this attack. He needs more warp ins. The warp prism's gonna go down, but he still might have done enough damage. Back at home for Puck, he has no natural base, he has no nexus. There's gonna be uh, a really hard catch up game if he doesn't win the game here. But I feel with the immortals and the damage potentially he has, he still might. He's gonna break down the rocks so he can come in for the backside. Continue warping in over here. It's gonna be more depth. It's gonna be another warp prism. That tank is just not going to be able to compete with the barrier cooldown of the Immortals if that ends up coming into play. But the Immortals getting shot by the Marines. Puck's got to pay attention to this. Remember, guys, Hardened Shield is no longer in the game. It's a it's like a minute-long cooldown for a 200 damage absorbed shield. He will break down these rocks and be able to walk out of here, though. Re, uh, regroup with his reinforcements. New Warp Prism coming in as well. Oh, gosh. Uh, tank drops are still gonna be annoying. Uh, the Immortals are not quite off of cooldown with like one second to go. There's the barrier on one. The barrier on the other does not pop though. One of the tanks is gonna go down. The Adept's gonna take off some of this. Gonna pick up that Warp Prism. Use that micro. Turn everything into a blink unit. But GG is gonna get called. And Puck, he's gonna bring it home with a 3-2 victory. Cleaning up this ace match. You know, it's funny. Everybody actually kind of won today. Except for Hart. So, Beastie won the first series versus TLO, then TLO won the second series versus Heart, and then Puck wins the third series versus TLO, or versus Beastie, so... I, I'm kind of okay with this. Like, everybody gets a lot of money today at the end of the day. $312 at the time of me reading this is the final tally of that show match. Congratulations. Congratulations to everybody involved. And uh, thanks to all the players who played. I will make sure that they, they get paid one way or the other, guys. I'll make sure to take care of that. I'll be uh, overseeing and making sure everyone's all good to go. Match Arena seemed like cool folks. And I hope to do more work with them in the future. Uh, I said earlier it was the last ad break of the day. I lied. I'm actually going to play one more ad break now because I want to get Skype set up with the guy from Match Arena to have him come on and talk about Match Arena a little bit more before we all disappear for the day. So do me a favor, guys. If you're going to take off, do it in like three minutes not right now okay hear what he has to say and we'll be back in a few minutes <laughs>